here. Step two, enter the room code you see on the screen. Step three, think of a hello. Binge Pipe is proud to resurrect from the dead. You don't know, Jack. Binge Pipe, we're not the bad guy here. Happy Holidays! Last night I was visited by three ghosts that told me I need to fix the gas leak that causes me to hallucinate. Every day I count my lucky stars, you all exist. And since we've got some folks in overflow seating, I'll be tacking an audience bonus onto every question. The more audience members pick the right answer, the less bonus money goes to the players. But if the audience really tanks it, that right answer is going to be worth big bucks. So let's get to it. Time for question one. First up, first I'd like to spank the Academy. Which movie won an Oscar for Best Picture in 2006? A film with the same name as a group of crows, a film with the same name as a group of rhinos, a film with the same name as a group of bees, or a film with the same name as a group of sheep? Okay, who chose what? Dreadful choice, totally wrong. <coughs> I really wanted you to pick this one. A group of rhinos is called a crash, and the Paul Haggis film Crash won Best Picture in 2006. Brokeback Mountain should have won. It's taken 12 years of therapy for me to get to a point where I can say that plainly and without anger, but Brokeback Mountain should have won. Okay, I've said it, it's, it's done. Behold, save a horse, ride a census taker. Let's say Keith Urban moved to an area with a population of 3,000. If he wanted his last name to reflect his new home, according to the U.S. Census Bureau, what might he call himself? Keith Suburban, Keith Urban Cluster, Keith Country, or Keith Rural? Hope you like what you picked. An urban cluster is a geographical area with a population of less than 50,000 and more than 2,500. Also a great name if you ever made a cereal. And how'd the audience do on that one? Oh, just what I look for in an audience. Lovable stupidity. That means that right answer is worth even more. Don't spend it all in one place. Coming up, Avenue Q and A, and it's a dis or dat. I'm gonna read off seven things, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a song from the musical Avenue Q or a tweet from celebrity Gary Busey. Answer quick, you'll only have a few seconds to choose between Avenue Q or Gary Busey. And you're all doing this together, so pay attention. Ready? Let's go. I'm not wearing underwear today. Compliment someone and they'll shut up. Not every F word is the F word. for porn. Everyone's a little bit racist. I just made spaghetti for the first time.
Most of you deserve a high five on that. But player three, you just plain sucked at that dis or dat. The binge pipe algorithm has detected hurt feelings. Looks like it's screw time. That is the truth, Cookie. Using the screw makes it harder for all the other players to answer in a variety of pleasurable ways. And you'll receive a bonus for each player who chooses incorrectly. <clears throat> Great, thanks. We care enough so you don't leave us. I don't need you anymore. Feast your eyes upon this. You catch more bees with lemonade. If the queen bee, Beyonce, had the same diet as a queen bee, what would she sing? All the single babies, all the single babies. I don't think you're ready for this. Brace yourself. Player three just let loose a screw. Luckily, this question's even better backwards. I love this part. In the wise words of Beyonce herself, uh-oh, 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 oh, no. Royal jelly is a viscous substance secreted from worker honeybees and fed exclusively to queen bees. But if there's no royal jelly available, most queen bees have hot sauce in their bag. Swag. Nicely done with that screw player three. Spend this wisely. And now, stuck together pages of greatness. Say you visit a luxury spa that plays recordings of classic literature while you're being pampered. If you want your massage to have a happy ending, what is your best bet? Hot stone and Wuthering Heights, Swedish with Anna Karenina, Shiatsu and The Great Gatsby, or Deep Tissue and Jane Eyre. picked what? Can't do anything right, can you? <laughs> okay, nobody guessed it. Let's skip ahead. At the end of Jane Eyre, she marries her true love, Mr. Rochester. I mean, sure, that's after Rochester's first wife sets fire to his house and jumps off the roof, but this was 1847, so you, you take what you can get. <laughs> Round one is dead to me. Let's see who deserves my love. Currently, player two is in the lead. On the other hand, these players are negatively affecting our averages. We have some more screws to help our targeted numbers. And remember, round two screws screw even harder. And you'll net more cash for each player that answers wrong. So don't be shy about using them. The rest of you better answer fast before you get screwed. Oh, and uh, remember, questions are worth twice as much in round two. You're doing so well, Cookie. Six trombones is not a parade. Introducing, are you gonna eat that? Hey, I have some boiled horse bones. I heard you love boiled horse bones. You can't get enough of those boiled horse bones. Want some yummy Haribo gummy bears? Sweet, sweet, Swedish. Oh, here it comes. Player one just screwed everyone. You guys remember your password, right? Let's see who got it. While these other candies are vegan, gummy bears are traditionally made with gelatin, which is derived from boiled animal bones, ligament, and tissue. What a fun snack to remind you of how you always wanted a horse, and that sometimes dreams have a funny way of coming true. That screw is a good move, player one. Have some cash. J'ai mangé tous les oeufs. Set. Take a good look at, not your color. Who wears red, blue, and orange? Huey, Dewey, and 
Oh, this'll be good. Player Forges screwed the room. Read carefully. So what'd you pick? Need a hug? <laughs> These three Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles wear red, blue, and orange masks, respectively. <laughs> Apparently the secret of the ooze is a complementary color scheme. That screw is a good move, player four. I believe this belongs to you. Hey, question! We'd like to offer you a chance to gain some content while also losing some other content. Would you like an easy question or a hard question? Choose on your devices now. Here are the consequences of your choices. And now, we'll fulfill our promise and deliver your content. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. Here's one for you. An easy question. Which rapper was part of the group NWA? Easy E, Easy E, Easy E, or Easy E? How'd we do? Easy come, easy go. Here's what you meant to pick. Eric Lynn Wright, the godfather of gangster rap, performed with NWA under the stage name Easy E. I call this one sparkling urine. About how many 12 ounce cans of LaCroix could my bladder hold at once? 1.7 cans of Pomplemousse, 4 cans of Cran Raspberry, 5.5 cans of Muir Pepino, or 8.2 cans of Pure? So who got it? The capacity of an adult bladder is about 600 milliliters, or 20.2 ounces, or 1.7 cans of delicious, delicious LaCroix. That explains why I'm peeing 47 times a day. How about this one? Life is cheap. Someone left this package on my desk that's just labeled chicks. That means all the baby birds inside are male, female, both male and female, or not chickens. What'd you guys pick? Chick is a gender-neutral term, although young female chickens are called pullets. So if someone says they're going cruising for chicks, uh, they are actually very open-minded. You made it to the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And don't forget... We may them. Ah, I see you already know the rules. Here's your clue. Good breeding. I hope you recognize the recognized breeds of these animals.
Player 2 wins! Congratulations, Player 2. I never thought you would win. But what do I know? Well, I do know this one thing. You don't know Jack! Enjoy this exclusive behind-the-scenes content from You Don't Know Jack. Hmm. Well, funny story. I was actually eating gummy bears when I read that boiled horse bones question. And I gotta say, didn't bother me at all. Not at all. Mostly because I was also eating a horse sandwich at the time with a side of horse juice. Oh, yeah, you, you, you gotta get the horse juice on the side to get the full experience. D it doesn't matter what brand. Horse juice. Thank you for joining us for this Binge Pipe bonus content.